Anyway, if you've got some of that uh, African garden uh, art sculpture made out of scrap metal, um, and it's it's you've had it a little while, it's got a bit rusty, and you don't like it, and you're deciding to throw it out. Uh, well, I'm telling you, don't do that. I can show you how, in a very very easy and quick method, to restore it so you can put it back in your garden, and it'll look fantastic for many many more years. This is a bit of uh, African garden sculpture. Um, they make them out of just scrap metal, as you can see. It's, they're pretty rough, but they're actually really nice. But unfortunately, because of that, they only last a very short time. Now, if you want them to last longer, what you need to do is, first of all, you need to just clean all the rust off. You can see this, the back end on the feathers here are, are rusty. Now, I'm just using an old uh, wire brush and, and get rid of all this rust or loosey flake just off the back of the bird. This um, about two years ago and um, and it stood up pretty well actually apart from this little bit down the back end which I'm treating again. Once I've got rid of the rust then I paint the rusted area with this thing called Rust Buster by Bondale. It, um, it converts rust back into usable metal. Sounds pretty magic but it works and I've used it on this bird before. As you can see uh, the rust buster converts the rust from a detrimental oxide to a beneficial phosphate of iron. And, and all you need to do is just paint it on like I'm doing here. Um, any, any areas that are a bit rusty And then just let it dry as it said. Oh, I let it dry for 24 hours. This is the paint that uh, I've used on, uh, on all my outdoor art uh, collection. And um, I think it's worked pretty well. Um, as long as it's a rust inhibiting um, uh, paint and it's a paint and primer in one, um, this particular one here is a, is a hammered finish, um, but they're both very good and uh, they seem to do the job and last quite a long time. And this is the finished product. I've changed the colour of it a little bit to uh, reflect what it really looks like with his yellow eye, but he should be perfect now for a couple of more years. This is another couple of pieces in my garden. I did these about two or three years ago and they're still looking fantastic. Well, I hope this has been uh, helpful and, uh, and I've convinced you not to throw those lovely pieces out in the rubbish and get down in the shed and fix them up and put them back and really enjoy them. Thank you for watching.